2010 has been a whirlwind, and uh, certainly the last month, winning the national championship and going out and heading out on the road about every morning at this time, and uh, coming back about midnight every night is, uh, has been the whirlwind tour that we've been on to finish up recruiting. So, um, you know, you, you try to reflect back and, and realize what the team and, and the coaches have accomplished over the year. The Auburn Tigers are on top of the college football world. The Tigers are BCS national champions. It's been truly a, a blessing, and uh, I think it's changed our lives. 53 years, baby, this is for you. War Eagle! Winning the national championship certainly helps you in recruiting, and there's no question about that. You know, a lot of our recruits were already uh, committed at that point, uh, but I think it gained some interest and momentum from some that maybe were 50-50 and weren't really sure where they were going to take that last one or two visits. Signing day is what we call game 15 because this really kind of culminates the season and uh, before you can really put everything to bed and move on, you know, to the next thing, um, this is it. This is the last the last part of what we started from the previous year. And uh, hopefully today's going to be good because right now we're undefeated. All right. Let's go wrap up these 2011 Auburn Tigers. See if we can't get that number one class in the country. War Eagle. Uh, Making the coffee for a long day. Got to get it going here early. A lot of time, effort, and energy that goes into what happens in the next few hours. Hoping something good happens. That's the big one right there. Welcome to the family, boy. War Eagle, son, huh? <laughs> G-Rod, what up, buddy? This is this, Brandon. Whenever you recruit a guy, it takes uh, a, a, a year. It's a year-long process, you know, getting to know him, doing your background checks. And Brandon, a week out, it was it, it was pretty hectic. I mean, there was there was teams all over just taking runs at him. Man, how does this morning feel for you that A, you're going to be an Auburn Tiger, and B, that all this craziness is over? Brandon Fultz was just, I mean, he was, he was Auburn all the way. I mean, he was a Tiger, and I just knew uh, that I wouldn't have to worry about it again. G-Rod, what up, buddy? Just came to me. Man, we're fired up around here. If I go holler outside and these workers out here working on the, on the new indoor, they might start doing backflips either. This is uh, the culmination of a long, long process of getting to know people, their families, their coaches, and all the people around them that, that really matter and aren't a part of their lives. And it's a big day for them, and it's a big day for us, too. I told you, man, the whole Auburn family's jacked up about you, man. The guy that's going to coach you through the Thorpe one is going to talk to you right now. I'm going to put him on the phone with you. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Jermaine. Big boy, war <laughs> dadgum eagle. Man, hey, it's a great day, man. You're going to always remember this day, you know? Always, but glad to have you. War eagle, man. It is official. <laughs> man, I'm fired. I'm fired. I'm just telling you, we got the best quarterback in the country. So I'm just... I can't wait to coach him, and it's a pretty exciting day for me. I've been recruiting Kyle, I guess, since his eighth grade year, and you could tell then that he was going to be a special player, and it's just been fun to watch him develop. He's a great competitor. Uh, he's won three uh, straight state champions, and uh, you know he's been the MVP, so he knows how to win. Uh, I'm excited to, to be his coach. That's pretty good. Okay. Athletes, looking for athletes, special teams. This class has a chance to be probably one of the best ever at Auburn, if not the best. And as a coach, you know, you appreciate that just from the hard work standpoint that it takes to, to get some of the higher, higher ranked recruits. So let's end this speculation. Enrique Florence, where are you going to play college football? I'll play college football at Auburn University. <laughs> You're always hoping for a couple of those on signing day, and you know they're not all going to go your way probably, but you always hope on those few that are out there that you'll get a couple that'll swing your way that give your class a jump from, 
from uh, wherever you are when the day starts to a little bit higher when it ends. Auburn, which came into the day at number eight, is now going to move up to the number six spot. That's big anytime you're, you know, even in the top ten. Uh, that's big as far as recruiting goes, but, uh, you know, we're very selective in who we go after. One of the things that was the strong suit of our season was the character of our football team week in and week out to overcome all, all sorts of different odds, if you will. So uh, that's very important to us. And again, as we go and we set out to recruit young men, we want them to be able to have this, um, you know, this backbone and this um, the, the, the type of character that you need to be able to win those type of games. Not only are they all, I think, really good players, I think they're the kind of kids that we want to be here. I think they're Auburn guys and, and are what this program is built around. We recruit as a village and uh, we don't recruit one guy on one guy. Uh, it's the position coach, it's the area coach, it's the coordinator, it's the head coach. I think that's one of the reasons that the young men that come here and visit Auburn, uh, they feel like it's very much of a family atmosphere because it's not just a position coach that will develop a relationship. I love the Auburn, I love the coaching staff. I think Dig and Troop are two of the funniest, craziest dude I ever met. <laughs> and, uh, I love Coach Gene Chizik, and I think great things are happening in Auburn. I'm not funny. Well, when Christian Wasserman <laughs> decided to switch from... I'm not sure where we started the day, but obviously, you know, as you compile better players and as you move forward with getting some other great players added to your class, then your rankings jump up. So, you know, it's kind of a, you know, again, it's kind of a 200-year-old deal. If we're going to keep score, we want to win. Gabe Wright, the number three defensive tackle of the Regardless of two years of putting this time into, into recruiting Gabe, uh, probably the night before was probably uh, all night of communication to 2 o'clock in the morning to, to say, you're in the right place, you're making the right decision. There's a lot of people that put a lot of time and energy into these young men, uh, and you realize that you've just added another brick to the foundation of your football team. So. Uh, it's an exciting time for all the coaches that put in all that work. And a rich get richer in the case of the Auburn Tigers because Gabe Wright another boost to the number two overall recruiting class as it stands right now. I feel like today was game 15. Today was game day and it was pretty much the last, uh, the last hurrah, if you will, from the season before. And uh, but as again, again as it as it is, yes, the last part of last season. It's also the first part of the next phase that we go into. So again, it's kind of one big circle and there's no beginning and no end. You just continue on and keep going. But we really feel great about the direction that this is heading.